sports fans out there in the Tubosphere, welcome to Gen 3.0 of the OMSR. This is the Vortex Guide. It's designed to keep your attention while I explain a few things about how the good ship sports clip Lollipop on YouTube has sailed. And what that means is, to get anything substantial of any sport event beyond your two and three minute bit clips, there has to be an amalgamation of minimal use with original content. So it's not my first choice to have to do a show on each and every one of these, but the latest cottage industry to sprout up vis-a-vis -vis YouTube are these professional, quote unquote, channel builders. Who are just a bunch of PAB licensee. What's PAB? You'll figure it out. But it's very easily abused, some of you may know, the third-party content ID system. They say, jump, and YouTube says, how hot. We're not going through that anymore. I've had dealings with them. If you see 15 minutes of bit length, it's not a 15-minute sports highlight reel, but you're still getting in the high single-digit minutes worth of sports. And if it's nine minutes, that factor still remains. So please save the comments for the actual sporting event, because... We're bringing you more than you're going to get anywhere else. And it's all covered by the DMCA. Longer shows, we'll cover that uh, after the sporting event. I'll go into a rant about the, these two entities you have to worry about if you're trying to cover especially college sports. And with regard to the promotional bid, give it a chance. It's much shorter than this outline. It's for a product that actually works and is cool, and I think a lot of you guys could use. Victory. Thanks for joining us here in Louisville. The Cardinals are off to a great start, 15-8. They have been able to penetrate against the St. John's defense. And Louisville time and time again by getting the ball at the rim against the zone designed to fill the gaps. Jump hook by Harold. Jack for the long rebound. That has really played with a nice pace in this game. Yes, he has. Kicks it outside to Kevin Ware. His shot won't go. St. John's trying to run. Green Boom. misses the shot. Follow won't go and knocked out of bounds. Out to St. John's. Well, they've got to get something out of the easy opportunities. Yeah, because they're struggling against Louisville's half-court defense right now. And and you know, one thing that Rick Pitino does not have to do, he does The shelves are full, but there is room for more stories to be written of epic battles, legendary feats, all the result of rivalries. Welcome back to ESPN's coverage of Thursday Night Showcase presented by T. Rowe Price. Part of Rivalry Week presented by Wendy's Louisville at the break by 9 over St. John's. Mike Packard, Jimmy Dykes with you. It's great to have you with us tonight. I don't mean to lay so much on the point guard, Peyton Siva, but when your point guard plays as well as he has played tonight, you've got a real shot. What's the job description for a point guard? It is to make sure you're doing this. The pace we want to play, maximum level, make sure we're doing it without turning the ball over. Peyton Siva has done that. Make open shots. Check that off also for Peyton Siva. And guard your tail off and be the ball hawking point of our attack. Peyton Siva, yes, 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 and yes in all four of those areas. He played a beautiful first 20 minutes for Rick Pitino. An oddity for St. John's in the statistical department. Only three players have scored. In fact, Harrison and Green. Oh, look at that. Two points in the paint. Points. They need other contributors. Like when you Must be the Gatoline 9. On the box. 
on the road or on a neutral floor, it's very difficult to win. St. John's only three points so far from the front. On the road or on a neutral floor, it's very difficult to win. St. John's only three points so far from their front court. Hancock drives the baseline, has the ball knocked out of bounds. So much activity for Louisville inside. They dominated the paint, outscoring St. John's 20 to 2. They shot the ball better. They might be up by 20. Absolutely. Seville, what a burst. Couldn't finish. All right, St. John's, let's see if you can embrace the team concept of B ball. That was just a lucky bounce there. Doesn't look like it. Green has nine. He and Harrison now have combined for 22 of the 20 offensive rebound. Kicks it back out to Harrison. They try again. And Obekpa can't get this one from Bahannon. Well, he was a legend in the Bay Area as a coach and educator. Wrote 40 books. Pointer. Showing that athletic ability as he glided by the defender to get his first two points. And the Red Storm within one. You know Steve Live is watching this game right now. Proud of his guys fight and grit to not go away. He will be back with his club on Monday. Comes the next week's uh, Wednesday game, I believe, against South Florida. The running hook won't go for Luke Hancock and St. John's with a chance to take the lead. Or make this one now way off. Well, they do not shoot well from outside, do they? Uh, you're being kind. Seba back the other way, lost it on the way up. See what I mean by St. John's? Too much helter skelter, you know. Hopefully, all these dudes will come back and mellow out. Yeah, granted, they're ahead, but. Exactly. That's what I just said. See, it's good sometimes having two uh, color guys going on. Dumps it off. Great pass by Russ Smith to the king. Again, he went up very soft, but got the benefit of this one. And Louisville now has its biggest lead at 11 points. Pointer had it knocked away by Smith. The reach around would yeah. rarely work. He did that time. Smith back the other way. Finally misses one. Louisville pursues the basketball from behind. I, I think better than anybody else in the country. And you cannot keep the dribble on the same side for more than two bounces when you're converting from defense to offense against them. They will get you every two, although he misses the front. Hmm. Boy, your man got away with an elbow. Uh, they didn't get away with stepping on the sideline. The 12th St. John's turnover, a team that is so good about protecting the ball. They only average 11 a game. You can't throw the ball into a crowd on the side against Newell. That's exactly what the Red Storm did. Nice shooting. But he had it blocked, got it back, put it up again. James fighting for the ball. Now, I was talking to an official this morning at the airport. I talked about it two weeks ago. It really bothers me that you bring officials in for two hours and pay them about 15, 1600 bucks. And you tell them that you are responsible, you three guys in the stripes are responsible for the language of the head coach. Are you kidding me? The athletic director and the president sitting on row three is not responsible for the language of the head coach during the game? That is not right. You're putting officials in a bad spot to babysit your head coach when he continues to be vulgar and use profanity for two hours. That is on the administration of the school to get in charge of that. Don't put it on the official. Or go hits his second big three, cuts it back to ten, but now time is really becoming a factor. Decorum is always something that's going to be an issue. Well, he needs to walk over the shoulder layup. Five points for Hancock. Look at Louisville's hand action right now. They're not tired. That's how they play the zone. They bother the basketball. Where's yeah. The <clears throat> Two, you know, St. John's had potential, but with what's been going on with Steve Lavin this year, hope it all works out for him. All right, so it looks like Louisville's back in form, and we'll see St. John's next year. Top 10 nominee. 
in, the, in degree of difficulty, I say yes. We're not talking no 30 second clip either, or a buck 14, or even a buck 59. You know, the beauty of doing a show is you end up with a significantly, still slight and brief, longer highlight reel than all those other ones that I just mentioned that are all over YouTube. That's not the goal of this show here. Now, how is that possible? It's a little thing called the DCMA, which we adhere to strictly around here, the Digital Copyright Millennium Act. As the key tenets were hashed out as it pertains to YouTube more than ever, it really came about because of the Napsters of the world through the WIPO, World Intellectual Property Organization. And these are the fair use standard, derivatives, minimal use, no money exchange in hands because the OMSR is a pro bono production. So I understand if a show's not your cup of tea, you can always fast forward on average eight minutes, you know, thereabouts. We try to do at least six minutes worth the highlights. There. So you can go, Bleh. do I have anybody's attention at this point? A minute 43. Plus the intro, so that's my two minutes. I guess I'm up. I, I may not be talking to anybody. I'm not sure. I'm not dissing you guys watching now. I'm talking about how it was in the past. All right, so you heard from uh, Molly Crew. It's going to be our lead into for a while. And are introduced by our Pi Kappa Alpha, House Sweethearts, U of U Chapter, Alpha Tau. Giving you props. So, uh, yeah, all of these things being said, one more very important thing, this show is copyrighted to the OMSR, with brief video highlights courtesy to CBS, NBC, ABC, ESPN, Pac-12 Networks, and or any of their affiliates. The OMSR does not own these video highlights, but does own all the other original content and the overall concept herein, thereof, therefore, most rights reserved. Now, one more note, to change it up a little bit. All images, not of OMSR Providence were obtained through the public domain.